What's up, YouTube? It's me, DJ Brandon, back at you. I haven't seen y'all in a few days, but I'm going to show y'all. Uh, I'm still getting questions how do you mount the LCD on the speaker stand. And um, the biggest I would recommend putting on a speaker stand would be a 26 inch. I got a 25.5 um, Asus monitors. They're, uh, you can get them on eBay for around 100. I mean, I have 320 piece. So I got two now. I'm about to order two more. Uh, which I gotta wait for them to come in, but uh, but anyway, um, I'm gonna show you the bracket I use on the next. As day. you can see, this uh, if you're probably familiar with this brand, it's Dynex. You can get it at Best Buy. It sells for forty nine ninety nine. It's a pretty much fixed wall bracket. Can hold from a fifteen inch LCD to a thirty two inch LCD. Um, supports up to fifty pounds. So if you look at the manufacturer of your uh, screen, it'll tell you, like the small monitors, it'll tell you the actual compatible uh, sizes here. I'm going to show you English here. Um, 75 by 75 millimeters, 100 to 100 to 200 by 100, 200 by 200, or 300 to 200. Um, but once again, it's, it holds up to uh, uh, 50 pounds. As you can see here, this is the bracket itself. So this is the wall bracket that I'm gonna put on the speaker stand. These go on the back of the LCD mount. And have onto the bracket. As you can see there. I'm just trying to shake it off. Don't shake off at all, so it's not coming off. Once you get it on the TV, it's not. It's gonna be really tight, so. TV's not coming off of there. You gotta pull that little latch down. It's a spring loaded locking mechanism. You get two of them to go on the back of the TV. Uh, as far as uh, putting it on the speaker stand, how you do that, I'll show you that on the next clip. Here is a Global Truss wrap clamp. This is, a, I believe these are one inch, the mini clamps, I guess is what they call them. As you can see there. Uh, focus. But, um, you see it there. This is what it looks like when it's opened up. Closed. Again, it's Global Trust. There's other manufacturers out there, but I recommend using metal clamps so that way you know it's going to be strong. They also come in two inches, too. Two inch Global Trust. Wrap clamps that are wrapped around there larger truss and I'll see y'all next clip here is the bracket right here as you notice I'm using two clamps um, I have to uh, do a little bit a little bit of modification these holes are too small so I just made it just a hair a little bit bigger and as you can see here this part right here wraps around the speaker speaker stand and you pretty much throw it up there and it down, it's kind of hard to do it with one hand, but this pretty much screws down. As you can see, there, here's the speaker stand. Once again, this is the speaker stand. Now, you want to use one of these balancer, as you can see, there. And you want to make sure you're uh, even. So I already got it mounted up right behind me. Bring it up a little closer. Basically, I'm going to throw it up there and it's way off. So just kind of push it down to the left. So. All right, YouTube, it's me, DJ Brandon, back at you. And I got the LCD mount, as you see, behind me. All right. Um, there's the LCD screen, you can see, just like that, the ACs, 25.5 when I measure it, it's at 26, but I don't know why they say 25.5, but it measures at 26 in the dimensions. But, uh, the resolution on the monitor is um, 1920 by 1200. 
I'll show you on the next clip how to get that mounted up there. All right, as you can see, uh, the monitor is on that speaker stand. I can shake it, you know, push it all the way. It's got a blockage. It's not really going anywhere. Lean it forward there. See, I'm not touching the LCD. So, it's pretty secure. You can just sit the speaker right there on top. No other vibrations, I'm not gonna jack with it. Uh, I have some DJ saying you're stupid for uh, putting this. LCD on the speaker stand. I'm not stupid. It's brilliant. It's really cool. You put the nice skirt on the stand to make it look nice. You've probably seen that some of my other previous videos, but there are smaller screens on those. There are uh, 22s. This is a 20. Measure at 26. And I measure. There you go. But anyway, I want to show that to y'all. I'm gonna see y'all next clip. I'll show what it looks like behind it already on the stand. This is what it looks like. All mounted up. Once again, those are those quick releases there. That's how it's holding it together there, as you can see. Pretty simple. These are the connections I've got. I'm gonna have a HDMI with an DVI. Those are the two main connections I use. Got VGA. Uh, digital coaxial for digital audio, left and right audio in, optical out, and audio out, component video in. This monitor can actually you can hook up a Blu-ray player up to it. Uh, it's an ASUS as you can see. There's the model number. Sorry if you can't see it. It's a WV266H. This is where the base was mounted on. Take that off. Still got the plastic on it. I'm gonna pull that off here in a few minutes. But I'm um, gonna be running four of these on four speaker stands. Benefit of uh, doing this is uh, just so that way I can um, show the slideshow and stuff. There's some places you can't use a video projector. There's some places you can't use a really big monitor. Some brides want to keep it nice and simple, but elegant, brilliant, you know. So keep it simple, but, you know, make it look nice. Um, thanks for watching my video. I'll practice and enjoy.